Hey, what's up guys, Arava here, and welcome to a very exciting video today, because as you can clearly see by what you're seeing on screen, we've got a very special and tasty brand new F1 2021 mod today, because we have got the one-off Monaco GP Golf McLaren livery, that blue base and orange accent. It looks absolutely exquisite on track in real life for our Monaco and I gotta say this version of this mod on the F1 2020 game looks just as beautiful on the FOM chassis of course but we've even got the race suits as well to match for Danny Ricciardo and Lando Norris in this 2021 mod gameplay today. We're going to be taking this car around the streets of Monaco but also we're going to be doing it at night time because I thought we'd add a bit of spice, a bit of difference to what we're seeing today in real life so I think this livery it already looks stunning in real life out there in the sunlight but at night time I think it could be taken to an even bigger level here in game at least so I hope you guys are going to look forward to this one if you do go to enjoy it be sure to smash that like button let me know what you think of the mod in the comments below and also yeah to be to be fair I've never asked it in a video yet but uh and to be fair, I haven't discussed. To be fair, I haven't really discussed it properly in a video on the channel yet. But uh, I mean, kudos to McLaren and Golf for doing this kind of collaboration and partnership to give us such a beautiful and iconic-looking uh, one-off livery. It's not often that F1 teams these days do this sort of thing, so it's got to be commended. And uh, big kudos also to the guy who actually made this mod so quickly on F1 2020. A link will be in the description to that. If you want to go download it on race department. But let's get into this then. A nighttime race at Monaco in the Golf McLaren livery. We've got a 25% race around here. So it's going to be pretty straightforward in terms of a one-stop strategy. So here we go then from P9 on the grid to five red lights. Monaco at night in the Golf McLaren livery. We're underway and it's a good start there compared to the Alpine of Ocon. We also managed to try and jump on the inside of Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari and skip past him into P9. Seven. Meanwhile, up ahead, Alonso and Leclerc side by side up the hill. Perez getting caught up behind a little bit, but uh, already this is looking like quite a stunning sight. It's a really nice livery from onboard as well. Like, obviously, it looks great from offboard, but sometimes you never know. Some good looking liveries offboard don't look as pretty on board, but this one definitely does as we go through the hairpin. Getting a bit of a traffic jam here because Alonso and Leclerc, look at them battling the Alpine and the Ferrari. Alonso down the inside. Side Leclerc on the outside still going at it. Where was this driving in the road to glory from Leclerc? As we go to the inside of Sergio Perez, we've absolutely sent it to the inside in the tunnel. Side by side on the exit. Perez on the inside. We go across the curb to give him some space there. And we've overtaken the second Red Bull man. Verstappen up the road uh, battling the two Mercedes cars. We've got his teammate. But look at Alonso and Leclerc still go. We get brake checked by Alonso. Have to lift off throttle and hit the brakes in the middle That's of this swing. Paul Chicane as uh, Alonso and uh, Leclerc Le have had literally they've been side by side nearly for an entire lap. This is absolutely ridiculous and Alonso hits the wall and that actually uh, has a domino effect of slowing down Leclerc. We're going to overtake the home man and get up the position into turn one. Now we can chase after Fernando Alonso there but he hits the rear end curb uh, on the last corner just like he did in FP1 actually in real life at Monaco but let's run and see if we can try and get the Spaniard now we're up into p5 so this would be for p4 and would be best of the rest behind that usual podium of hamilton bottas and verstappen at the moment verstappen in third we try to look around the outside alonso we get pinched into the wall so alonso getting his elbows out very much like he did with leclerc just there on the opening lap so we're down to we have to remain in p5 tried tried to get him that, that that corner but just couldn't quite do it so we're having to go again lap number four second time lucky can we go down the inside of rascas no on the outside Side maybe lock up on the front right. Alonso placing his car, I gotta say, perfectly pretty much to defend this position. But we're now right up his gearbox. DRS open using ERS a lot of it as we're down to single digits on ERS, and it's a beautiful little move to get down the inside there. And we're up into P4, but 
I mean, away from the racing, I'm just taking in the view, basically. Every time we have an off-board shot of this uh, of this car around here, it is exquisite. And uh, the, 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 the person who made the mod actually matched the helmet to, to match. It's not quite the same helmet that Lando is running in real life. Of course, if you've seen, Ricardo and Lando are running two retro helmets, but it's still, uh, it still fits the bill, really, with the color scheme going on. It's basically Lando's original helmet with the orange and the golf blue to match. But now, at the moment, we're going side by side with Lewis Hamilton actually into Casino Square on the outside here. Little ding dong battles. We squirm on the rear end. Hamilton down the inside. He's on fresh mediums. We're on worn soft compound tyres, and eventually we do have to let Hamilton through. He is the race leader. Uh, Verstappen yet to pit, as well as Bottas there in one and two at the moment. So Hamilton looking to assert himself in this race and looking pretty comfy for the race win, I must say. And at the moment, we're just doing our best to keep Leclerc at bay. Alonso and Sainz, they've already pit then it would seem, lap 8 we come in then, so nearly halfway through and we've taken the soft compound tyres quite a fair way but we did lose a bit of time in those in laps there as the soft compound tyres really started to wear off so I wouldn't be surprised if maybe Sainz uh, and even Alonso, I don't know, have maybe done an undercut strategy on us but uh, the thing is we'll now have fresher medium so at the end of this race we may be able to pounce as we now come down the pit lane, there is Sainz so he's overtaken, not only me, he's overtaken his teammate and Perez is there in the mix but we come out then behind Perez and Sainz but we do have those fresher tyres we're still ahead of Ocon uh, and Alonso seemingly I think has fallen down the order then as he may have got caught up in something so now we're catching up to Perez who's getting held up a little bit it seems like behind Sainz but also at the same time I'm almost pushing him through that final bend so he has he's not exactly pressurising Sainz that much really and we've set a purple second sector red in the last and first we lose some time with the dirty air you can see the amount of understeer we got in the first turn just off the back end of uh, Sergio Perez having to go down to lean mixture as well as obviously you don't want to wear out the engine too much as it gets overheated behind cars especially around a circuit like this and also uh, obviously not being a career mode car we've got uh, the fuel being an issue we actually burn fuel quite quickly here so having to watch out for that but Perez a bit slow in the hairpin and we're going to try and go around the outside of him at the hairpin to the inside oh this is going to be what a move on the right-hander, really took the curb there, but that's the beauty of Monaco, the street circuit. There's just a pavement road on the right there that we took the liberty from, and we're up into P8 then, and now on the back of Carlos Sainz, who's been held up quite a fair bit by um, Asbin there in the Haas car. As we go through into Turn 1, trying to cut it a bit tighter, doesn't really work out. We don't have too much ERS to play around with, so I need to play this a bit patient and kind of pick out my line properly. Maybe into Mirabeau, we can make a move as I'm feeling science is just getting held up so much screen freeze for good measure here we go down the inside though rolling the car quite nicely through Mirabeau side by side into the entry of the hairpin but then science gives up the position we're up into P7 the two Haas cars ahead of us have yet to pit so both are on mediums that they've been on from the start of the Grand Prix so uh, we should be able to overtake them pretty darn quickly so that's the reason why they're up here they're not actually here on merit they're still yet to pit in the, in the, in the GP so let's just try and take this nice and easy and line up this pass. I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling a Raskas dive bomb, you know. We've not done one yet in this video. It's kind of customary for me to do my infamous Raskas dive bomb on the inside. So let's try and set this up in swing pool. Must have been a little bit iffy on the rear. Here we go down the inside. Smooth as you want. No contact made with the wall or the Haas. And we're up into P6 and P5 now as Mick Schumacher comes in for his pit stop. So we're up into P5 then. Gasly yet to pit. So we'll get up into P4 then as we go on to lap number 15. So... It's all looking really decent for us here to be best of the rest as we go through the last quarter of this 20 lap race around Monaco at night. And seeing as we are at night time and we are in this one off golf livery, it's a rarity. I thought we'd go into cockpit cam and give you a view of Monaco at night from the cockpit view and a bit of a different look at the golf livery. Of course, we've got the kind of uh, lack of the halo post in the middle, thankfully, with the game settings there. Of course, in real life, you know, you have a kind of depth of field 
so you can look past the, the, the kind of uh, pole in the middle effectively, but in the game, being a flat 2D uh, you know, animation, it's very hard to do that. So uh, rather drive the cockpit cam without that kind of stalk in the middle. But I got to say, it's a very, you know, I keep, I always forget really, because I don't do it often, but it is an experience driving around Monaco in cockpit cam. Undulations there, the big curbs. Especially at night time then as well, you have all the lights and the kind of floodlights and the, sp the spectacle of it all really, just as you do at any other night race, you know, when you're going round. But equally at the same time, uh, I can definitely tell losing a little bit of pace to what we were doing before as uh, Sainz and Perez are still well within one second in. Sainz actually pulling up right behind up our gearbox. Can't actually tell where he is because the mirrors are off camera at the moment. But as we come around the final bend, Raskas, and then into the final bend, that has been a pretty lovely looking lap around Monaco in cockpit. But here we come through the last bend then to finish out this small race. Lap 20 of 20, P4, literally the maximum we could hope with uh, Hamilton, Verstappen and Bottas finishing the race on the podium. And uh, I'm hoping that that could maybe be a bit of good luck at uh, Juju for the boy Lando uh, this weekend and hopefully not a jinx, let's pray. But uh, this has been one lovely looking video. Honestly, this is, I, I still can't get over how pretty and amazing this, this, this one-off livery looks for McLaren. Like, again, massive kudos to them and Golf for doing it because teams don't do this often anymore in modern times. So it's really great to see. And uh, hats off to the guy who made the mod for the game because it looks really, really awesome. Even on the FOM chassis, really looks lovely. And if you guys did enjoy the video, then hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below of the livery in real life, the mod, the video. Uh, and if you aren't around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.